afternoon this part of the year and it's very early this morning. The sun's not even up yet. Temperatures are above 80 degrees. And not only that, when you walk out the door, it's very humid. It's sticky outside. It's just not very comfortable already. And this is going to continue uh, to be the trend as the day goes on. We're going to see very high temperatures, upper 90s, close to 100, some areas above 100 degrees today, and a heat index in some areas above 110. And that's what it's going to feel like outside, prompting an excessive heat warning. And these excessive heat warnings that you see draped over the entire Wabash Valley are not issued very often. Typically, it's just a heat advisory. This is a little bit of a step up on the scale here. This means that it's going to be particularly dangerous outside, especially during the warmest part of the day after lunch. And not only that, we have an air quality alert issued for several of uh, these highly trafficked counties. So due to the heat, the very high temperatures, the sunlight, uh, any place where there's a lot of car exhaust, uh, like cities like Terre Haute, metro area, Vincent, same situation, uh, highways, if you have to be outside, uh, it's going to be very tough to breathe, not only because of the humidity, the high temperatures, but because of, again, that car exhaust mixing with that and other factors. So just be careful. The main takeaway here is if you don't have to be outside today, it's just not going to be very comfortable outside at all. And you can see this is our future cast. This is this morning. Temperatures continue to climb to a very high spot by lunchtime, upper 80s, lower 90s. And then by the warmest part of the day, you can see this is 5 p.m. Uh, due to the mostly sunny sky yesterday, we had some clouds. It was still very hot and uncomfortable. Even with the clouds today, we don't have as much of uh, clouds as a factor at all. So it's just going to be mostly sunny and our temperatures are going to be allowed to climb even higher because of that. And you know, 99 degrees, that would be a record breaking temperature over the course of this afternoon. Now, over the course of the overnight, it's going to take some time, just like last night, for these temperatures to drop. So by very late tomorrow night or tonight, I should say 11 p.m., we're still in the mid 80s. So we're in the upper 90s today. You know, we're mostly sunny. We're very hot. Remember, heat index uh, close to 110, many areas above that. It's just not going to be very comfortable outside. Uh, and temperatures usually uh, like to drop consistently throughout the overnight on a clear night. It's going to happen tonight, but we're only in the upper 70s by early tomorrow morning. A very high place for temperatures to be early in the day. Remember, it's still very humid. So even though we're in the upper 70s, it's not going to be very comfortable. And then tomorrow, same situation. Only The only difference is heat index will be a little bit less. That's still not a safe heat index to be outside for an extended period of time. And we're close to 105. And you can see our seven day forecast showing a little bit of a cool down. You know, we're just going to see temperatures drop to the lower 90s by Friday. And that's slightly more comfortable. Still very hot. And then over the